the cameras are still hot. Like the show just literally stopped filming like last week. And already the girls are rushing to come and tell us their experience and their side of the story. Why? Let's talk about it. I know y'all want to get to the tea, and baby, we will. But for those of y'all that's been living under a rock, baby, my name is Scott Santana. I've only been on YouTube since I was 2016. Started off going viral, telling stories about my crazy life. A couple of years later, I started doing ratchet recipes, went viral on TikTok. Then I opened up a channel, Line and Souls, where I was, you know, using my spiritual and psychic gifts to help the girls and whip them back into alignment. In other words, baby, she's gifted. And see, now I'm here to share all of those gifts on one channel. Beside me, whether it's a deep dive, a commentary video, cooking music, like reading Harvest Souls. Baby, if I want to upload a video of me picking my nose and breathing for 60 minutes, I'm into it. My house, my rules. I mean, I just ask that y'all follow me over on Twitter so I can stop talking to myself. And before you go and try to seek help and seek therapy, baby, seek me. Go to my website and put yourself a personal reading if you need one. Now, feel free to sound off in the comments, but be respectful and act like you got that act right. Now, this channel is for critical thinkers. We may not always agree. You may not always even like me. But one thing's for sure, your life will be changed after experiencing me. So subscribe. Now, enough of me rambling, child. I think we made it past the part that was needed to get this video monetized, child. Now, you could be gone. Nah. Let's get into it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi-chi, the kiki, the... The internet bull. Oh, if she don't get hot, if she don't get off the damn screen, what's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Chat 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 Chat. And we'll be back for another Baddies Cover Me and See Baddies Cover Me and Update video. Okay, what is going on? What is going on, y'all? Now, listen, like I said in the intro, the girls are rushing to tell their stories, and I want to figure out why, okay? Now, as per usual, y'all know I don't do any research. I don't really go and watch videos. If I see anything, I bookmark it. We come and talk about it, okay? So, shout out to Pretty Girl Tings for sliding in my DM and sending me this uh, YouTube URL of this story time that we all about to sit and watch together. But I have no idea what it's about, okay? So, I could be completely wrong when I say this, but... I'm going to just say from seasons past of watching reality shows for, what, 20 years now, whenever girls come out and they're very quick to talk about their experience before the show airs, it's given damage control. It's given, let me go ahead and jump in front of the horse. Let me jump in front of the narrative so that way I can have a chance to control it because I might have done some things that were like, you know, not too... Not too good looking and you know The viewers might be on one When it comes to me because I was on one While filming so let me go ahead And tell my experience let me get some things Out the way so that way I could Kind of win some people over Before the show airs and then Everybody's against me that's typically What happens now again I have not seen this video that We're about to get into so hopefully I'm wrong but I do want to refresh y'all just in case because I know there's a million girls this season. Y'all probably don't even know who Diamond the Body is. So I do want to refresh y'all on some, you know, who she is. Take it back to some video clips from the auditions. But before we do that, go ahead and like this video.
fuck I do? Period. That was nice. Yeah. Hello, how y'all doing? My yeah, name is Tika Bella. Way. 24 I'm years old. From Philly. Before. My shirt say fucking legend. I'm a fucking legend. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. I just need my gold ticket. That's it. One person right here is going to get 5,000. One. One. I, I, I need to know why you're a baddie, though. Yeah. And show me why you're a baddie, though. See. Like, I saw you. I saw, but show me. First of all, I showed My up. My name is Jess Brittany. I showed I'm up. Houston, Texas. And I already fucked somebody Good up boy. today. You understand me? That's why I'm missing nails. Ask where she at. <laughs> Ask where she at. Ask where she at. And I got the video. Don't play with me. Oh! 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 oh. Okay, so that was Diamond the Body. That was Diamond the Body, the girl with the zebra print and the girl that's on the floor getting beat up. <laughs> that is Diamond the Body, a.k.a. DTP, DTB, whatever. Child, Diamond the Body, Diamond the... Same thing, okay? But that is her, and obviously both girls made it into the house. Both girls ended up making it onto the show, and both girls are main cast, okay? Not to be confused with the 1001 replacements, but they are main cast. Now, if you've been following any of my videos, dealing with these Baddies Caribbean updates or Baddie T videos or whatever... These two girls have been all up under Natalie, all up like in the main house and like have been a part of the seven girls. So I keep talking about who I feel like is the only ones that we've seen all season. Right. So I don't know if they fought and then at some point made up. Um, well, actually, no, I do know that they fought, but I don't know if they ended up making up or if this was like a season long rivalry or whatever. But even before they came to auditions, <sighs> They knew that they was going to have to fight in order to make it on the show. So it's like poor, poor, what's, what's that girl's name? Just hilarious, child, not just hilarious, but the girl in the orange, poor just Brittany, poor her because she just came in with the wrong group of girls. I feel like had just Brittany came in maybe with another group of girls then maybe she would have got spotlighted a little bit more and then possibly even been on a show because y'all know that Zeus loves to bring in a reality star. Okay. A D-list reality star and then give them the title of celebrity guest. And then they ask in the beginning of the whole entire season. Hello, Suki Hana. How are you? Okay. Hello, Mariah Lynn. How are you? Okay, but these two girls was obviously already casted before the show. We went through that with auditions, okay, with the audition videos. Natalie telling them, oh, I, I need y'all to prove why you're a bad girl. That was more so, okay, I need y'all to show the viewers why we had already pre-casted y'all before these auditions. And, like, just give them a, a bit of a taste to what to expect when it comes to Baddies Caribbean, okay? So, now that y'all got a bit of a refresher on who the hell DTB is, let's go ahead and get into her... Her story time, okay, because she ended up posting her story time. She got about what 5,000, 6,000 followers on YouTube. That's pretty much how it always starts. Like, they don't really be having subscribers like that. And then, you know, after a while, everybody from Instagram comes over or like people find the videos, ah, uh, ah, uh, whatever. So, I expect this video to probably get up to like a hundred thousand at least, okay? You're welcome, Diamond. You're welcome, okay? Cut me my check, run me my check, Zeus, run me my coin, okay? But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what the hell this hoe talking about. Yes, guy. I have my secret on. Okay. Don't worry about it. So, um, yeah, that's really just an overview of the whole trip. You know, we went to the <coughs> had a lot of fun. Um, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Diamond of Body, aka DTV. <laughs> AKA disturbing these, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> Mind you, she was kind of like my preseason fave. Well, she was my auditions fave because I love her body down. Like, her body is absolutely amazing. And I think that she's pretty as hell. Like, I kind of low key have a girl crush on her. Like, she's pretty. She's very, very pretty. She's pretty as hell to me. The body is just everything. I don't know if she has surgery. I don't really care because it just it looks nice. It looks nice. Okay. And it's like super curvy, super feminine, super kind. Okay. So just throwing that out there. Anyways, guys, I am back. I am back. I am back. Oh my gosh. I know my YouTube family missed me. It's good, all 5,000 of them, girl. I mean, as you all know, I just got back from filming Baddies. Yes, guys. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay, <coughs> your girl, Time in the Body, Deep Take B, is officially 
a baddie. So yes, guys, it was a long process. It was long filming. It really wasn't. It it really wasn't. Not Diamond. Not Diamond. Y'all was there for damn near a f four weeks. Y'all was there from March 16th to April 17th. Please cut it out. It was not that long. See, maybe she was over there getting her head bashed in every, every night and day. And maybe she felt like, maybe she felt like the process was a lot longer than what it was. But maybe it was, I promise you it was only like 30 days. I promise you it was only like 30 days. But the reason why I haven't posted anything to my YouTube channel is because they didn't want us posting or, you know, recording too much of the backgrounds and the areas we were at. So, you know, I wasn't able to make videos to post for you guys with our locations. But now all that's over, okay? It's done, it's over, filming is over, I am back home. I like I the way she's back. sweet. I'm here for y'all, I'm back on YouTube. She is so cute. Everything that I know y'all wanna see. <laughs> so first and foremost, I do have a lot of behind the scenes, okay? I recorded Girl. everything. Then spill it, spill it, spill it, spill it. Let's go through the video because it better be in here. It better be in here. Is that it? Hold on. Where's the tea? Where's the tea? Don't, no, don't nobody want to care about nothing that's going to get this channel taken down because of copyright. Where is the tea? Wait, is that a food video? Okay. I care about that. Okay. I care about that. But no, girl. Girl. Where is the tea? Talking about some, I haven't filled so many videos. Girl, where they at? Because right now I'm not seeing nothing. I'm not seeing a goddamn thing. Behind the scenes, every location, every house we were at, you know, a lot of the girls, a lot of the other baddies, a lot of the uh, activities. I, I recorded everything, okay? But I'm not able yeah, damn to show you guys or post anything until after those episodes air, all right? So, so do me a favor. They sit and talk about everything else. Right now, subscribe. Um, because I, I want to see more than food. Shut up. I want to see more than food. Let me go ahead and like the video. Have y'all hoes done that for me yet? You see me doing it for her, but have you done it for me? These bitches is washed. I am the soap in these rags, I am bald. Been saying shit since I didn't mind if you're right. Say, hey, to see that a bitch follow your side. Stop. Keep watching my social media. Changing my Wikipedia. This trendy to the top and tedious. I will stop from video. Who got the, who got the trench? Who got the, who got the brain? Get the fuck back into her. You know, vlogs, behind the scene vlogs as the episodes start releasing. All right. Ready? So, yeah, subscribe now if you want to see that. Tune in. Also, um, yeah, so really and truly, uh, I do want to talk a little bit about my experience, okay? I know a lot of you guys want to know how was my baddie's experience, and I want to tell you. I really, yo. <laughs> I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, I really fucking like her. Like, I just want to cuddle with her. Like, because she does not, she's not giving me what she looks like. No offense. No offense to the ratchets out there. Like, listen, I love to go out with my hood rats and do some hood rat things. You understand what I'm talking about? But like, she has the look of a stripper hoe. Just keeping, let's keep it a buck. She has the look of a stripper hoe, diamonds club, play a girl, you know, bottle girl with Cardi B. Like, she has that look. It seems like she would be, <clears throat> like, completely turned or completely on some city girl fuck shit. It's, I'm not getting a vibe from her. Honestly, the way she speaks is giving me geek. It's giving me geek that went and glued up, had a glow up, and, you know, she invested in herself and her body and her beauty. <clears throat> Like, I just want to cuddle with her. Like, I got, I got a crush. I got a crush. So, Siki, ooh, to see you going to beat me the, see you going to beat my ass. So, Siki going to beat my ass if she find out I got a crush on her, too. Oh, because y'all know to Siki got a, Siki got a boyfriend anyways. But, I mean, I keep saying, like, that ain't going to stop her from having a girlfriend. Fuck.
Let me find out if DTB is lesbian. Let's be honest, DTB. Are you lesbian? Like, come on, because we can do some things. She cute. It's been a while, too, since I've been up in the pole. Listen, get out of my business. Uh oh. Like I said, I can't say too much. I can't go into too many details, but I can give you a general overview of my experience. All right. I'm what is going on? Um, Hold on, because if he do that one more time, I'm not understanding. I ain't pay my phone bill. <laughs> Shout out to Kaya. We went to three different countries. Well, not country. Puerto Rico is not a country, but you know what I mean. We went to three different locations. First was Barbados. Second was Puerto Rico. Third was Dominican Republic. All right. So with that being said, let's start off with Barbados. Barbados was gorgeous okay the house that we stayed in was <coughs> chat i'm gonna just keep coughing because y'all know i vape behind the scenes listen so she just admitted that she was there the whole time i'm gonna need i mean especially if they're gonna insist on threatening us with 258 girls i'm gonna need them to start kicking off okay clearly it's not like bad girls club where they get kicked off fighting so i'm gonna need them to kick them off with something something child if it's too many bitches up in there in the house with blue hair, I'm gonna need you to go. One of y'all gotta go. One of y'all, it's too many of y'all up in here with lashes. Any, mini, miny, mo, yo ass about this hoe. Okay? Like, I can't. I can't. Because why was she there the entire season? If she was there the entire season, then who else was there the entire season? We don't need to see 50 girls for 50 episodes. We don't. We don't. But that's good to know that she was there the entire season. So either she fought real early, got it out the way. And then kind of was just like chilling or like, I don't know. I don't know. Beautiful. <clears throat> it was like immaculate. Like we literally had a beach in our backyard. It was so pretty. The water was crystal. It was like see-through. It was blue. <sighs> it was gorgeous, guys. There was a pool. Um, we had a gym. Like the house was, it was lit. We had a kitchen. We had a chef. So when I was there, I asked them, I'm like, I just want to kiss her. So, I know what uh, tastes good. Oh, Rihanna's. Uh, I don't know if it's Rihanna's house or Rihanna's family's house, but that house is in the Rihanna family. Um, also, they said Beyonce and Jay Z stayed there before, and like LeBron James, Gabrielle Union, like they were just telling us all the names, uh, uh, all the people that stayed in that house before. So it was actually really cool. Um, I loved everything about it, uh, Barbados. So we did get into some fights in Barbados. Um, that's where I got into my first altercation. Girl, not first. I like to hear it. I would like to hear it. The first of many. Okay, I know that's right. Listen, I know that's right. Okay, I know that is. She was up in there. Okay. She said, y'all might have seen me get my ass whooped on the auditions, okay? But what hell you know that fight country to country? She said, my first fight was in Barbados. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Even though I like to. Uh, one three, <clears throat> I think it was three rounds. Not three rounds. And then um, I had another fight. Uh, let me see who else fought in Barbados. There was a lot of fights in Barbados. Online. Barbados was lit. Like everybody was getting down. <laughs> everybody was getting down on Barbados. Okay. Um, it was really lit. Oh, the clubs. So we went out to the clubs. Oh my god, Barbados clubs so lit. Okay. Like the energy from the people in Barbados, bro, they loved us. Okay. They loved baddies. Like as soon as they opened the the, the the van door, they was screaming. They were at the door with their phones and like they was so oh, it was amazing guys like literally things that i dreamed and imagined like like happening is they coming true like shit is unrealistic bro. <coughs> and it was fun we had a lot of fun it was hot it was hot Ooh, it was hot but it was fun um let's yeah, Barbados was really lit. I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. And um, I would definitely go back to Barbados. Like, I would definitely stay in that house, okay? Especially with the chefs. Like, 
we just go over and be like, hey, can I get some breakfast? Boom, breakfast cut. It's like, come back in 10 minutes. Boom, breakfast done. Whatever you want. Like, you know, whatever they had. Like, it was lit. I love Barbados. I love the everything, the ambiance, the... Barbados is one of those countries, okay? If you haven't been to Barbados, I suggest... Barbados is cute. Check it out. So, yes, that was island number one. All right, now island number two we went to was Puerto Rico. Okay, I know that is a state, it's not technically like out of the country, whatever, but you know, Puerto Rico, a lot of the girls, a lot of cats are Puerto Rican. So Gretchen was Puerto Rican, Mariah is Puerto Rican. Right, 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 right. Gretchen's Puerto Rican, right. Like I said, we're not going to talk about it, and we're not going to talk about it ever again, because I already did, but finding out that Gretchen is Puerto Rican, I just hope that Jayla doesn't drag this thing out. I just hope the girls don't drag this thing out with, with Gretch. Please. 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 Uh, for the girls. So Puerto Rico was lit, man. Puerto Rico was lit, but the only thing, ooh, one thing about Puerto Rico, the mosquitoes, deadly, okay? Those mosquitoes are evil. They was like our ops. They was attacking us. Like, my legs were so filled with mosquito bites. It looked These mosquitoes are uh, this, so this is it, girl. This is not the videos that we wanted to see. This is not the tea that we wanted to see. You could have saved this for your mama. Okay, you could have brought this back to your mother as a souvenir, ho. This ain't what we wanted to see. We want to see bitches knocking each other out. Okay, you talking about mosquitoes biting you, bitch. We want to see the video of Gretchen biting Jayla. That's the bite we want to see. Oh, so disrespectful, bro. Like, what the fuck? Shit got me looking like I got fucking chicken pox. My God, damn. Like, no over exaggeration. Like, that shit was really, really bad. Like, it was crazy. But Puerto Rico was fun. The house that we stayed in in Puerto Rico, it was like, it's hard to explain this. All right. It was like a house, but it wasn't a house. Villas. It was kind of like a hotel. Villas. But, Okay, imagine a hotel, but like instead of the lobby being like a lobby for outside people, the lobby was like connected to the rooms. If that makes sense, I, I can't explain. That's it. It so in a damn villa. Like, like the staircase <clears throat> would lead to a room. <clears throat> room right there and then like another room would be like right here but every room had like a, it was called a suite it was like okay suite one suite two like it was really really it was different that's to say the least it was different um i've never stayed in a place like that before um it was very beautiful it was very old it was old looking like you know old school vibes like bricks like you know i'm more of a modern girl some of the rooms were very modern it was like you know you could tell some rooms like the master room like natalie's room beautiful but everybody ain't have natalie's room but <laughs> i mean obviously you know she's the boss but you know Puerto Rico you know who she reminds me of <clears throat> and and more from baddie south that's exactly who she reminds me of i wonder if she's gonna have the same type of vibe on Baddies Caribbean, because that's the vibe she giving me. The way that she talk, the way that she look, the way she present herself is just giving in. The house was really nice. It was very different. Um, Puerto Rico. I would personally not ever go back to Puerto Rico only because those mosquitoes. Those mosquitoes attacked the fuck out of me. They attacked the fuck out of everybody. I mean, everybody was fucked up from mosquitoes. Like you would have thought they was auditioning for baddies the way it was whooping all of us. Okay, they whooped the shit out of us. All right, the mosquitoes was. Whew. But somebody had told me to get tea tree oil, so I had ordered some tea tree oil. 
and they're actually really large. It helps. It stinks. It has a very strong smell, but it works. Like it really helps the mosquitoes stop fucking attacking you. But yeah, oh. so fights in Puerto Rico. There were lots of fights in Puerto Rico. Um, None of which you've named yet. <laughs> I fought everywhere, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Every every place you went. So a lot of fights, none of which she's named yet. Um, I fought in Puerto Rico. <laughs> I fought everywhere, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Every every place you went, so I fought. But <laughs> I fought in Puerto Rico. I fought in Puerto Rico. I think about four or five good Puerto Rico fights, like great Puerto Rico fights. So y'all are gonna definitely enjoy Puerto Rico. All right. Let me see if I'm missing. The clubs in Puerto Rico. Um, Amazing. We didn't get the Spectacular. Because the transportation was a little bit short. Um, Don't do Puerto Rico like that. Don't do my people like that. Oh, you know what? I was drunk that night. We went out, so I kind of don't remember. Oh, but we did go to a, a lit ass club in Puerto Rico. Oh, that club was lit. It was lit. It was lit. I wonder if they was playing Dumbo. The boys are very like, the boys was out of talk. Okay. But oh, we also not too much. To a strip club in Puerto Rico that was very interesting. Um, they loved us there too. I got to uh, oh, I got to perform in Barbados. I did get to perform in Barbados, Puerto Rico. I didn't perform, but I did get to get the microphone when I was able. To- <laughs> oh, who are these white girls? Who the hell are these white girls? Baby, I thought they was in Puerto Rico, not Wisconsin. Who the f*** are these white girls? Child, that must be Mariah Lynn of the side of her family. Like, who the hell are these white girls? God damn. Puerto Rico was definitely a vibe. Puerto Rico was a vibe. We had a great time. We had a lot of fights. We had a lot of um, fun. And yeah, you guys are going to love Puerto Rico. Uh, Dominican Republic, okay? Now, my <coughs> I've been to Dominican uh, twice before this experience. So this would be my third time going to Dominican Republic. Obviously, I liked it the first time I went, so I went back. And this time did not disappoint me. I love Dominican Republic. Like, I love everything about Dominican Republic. Like, Dominican is lit. Ah, I love Dominican Republic. So, let's talk about Dominican. Okay, let's start with the house. The house, the Dominican Republic house, or shit. Okay, and like I said, guys, I have all the behind the scenes. I have all. Oh, now wait, now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Now wait, wait a goddamn minute. Did Natalie make you dress like that? Not you being butt ass naked on them people beach. <sighs> Natalie Lemon Pepper and Zeus is never escaping them prostitution ring allegations. I guess they said the bar flooded out and now the baddies flooding out the Dominican Republic child. Oh my god. Who brings crabs to a beach? Wow. Wow. the show starts airing in certain places and locations are revealed then I'll reveal them so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're able to see the behind the scenes as the show starts to air okay because it's nothing like behind the scenes you know what I'm saying especially with DCB it's like you're behind the scenes with DCB you know what I'm saying so make sure I subscribe like all that stuff so anyways Dominican Republic House a movie okay we walked in it was like like it was so gorgeous. There was a pool right there. It was like an infinity looking pool. So like the pool just cut off at the edge. It was so beautiful. Then we had another beach in the backyard. Beach right here. Beautiful water. Clear blue. The sand just went straight into it. It was it was a it was it was a movie. All the rooms were beautiful. Um they had a gym as well. 
you know how I gotta get my gym in. You know what I'm saying? Like, no tea, no shade, even though I was on vacation. I had to go to the gym because 30 days is a long time. You can gain a lot of weight in 30 days. So I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna have me out here gaining weight, getting big, looking uh, any type of way. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely stayed in the gym a lot while I was there. But yeah, the Making Her Grow Public House movie. Beautiful, look like a it looked like some shit out of a movie, okay? Realistically, shit was beautiful. Um, let's see. We definitely had a bunch of fights in the Dominican Republic. Did I fight in the Dominican Republic? You better have. Yes, I did. <laughs> I told you I fought everywhere. I definitely fought in the Dominican Republic. Uh, I think I fought two people. And then um, who else fought in Dominican? That fight, that fight was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it went down in Dominican Republic. Okay, like it went the fuck down. Um, that was our last stop. We so we already know that's when ET and Rolly fought because that's when ET had pulled up. Okay, for Lemon Pepper's birthday. Thank like, God. Like, oh, so like, wait. Now, wait a minute. Not Diamond. Not Diamond. Not Diamond. Why the hell is your ex? So blown away. Like, oh, like, what the fuck? Like, they was really actually, like, besides all the fighting guys, we really did do some nice things. We did some really cool activities. We were able to, you know what I'm saying, kind of get to know each other. We got to bond a lot. So that's why I have the behind the scenes. Because I want y'all to, you know, a lot of things they're not going to put on the camera. Obviously, they're going to put, you know, the most exciting scenes. But I have the behind the scenes, like what, the, what was going on. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, besides that, the Dominican Republic, it was great. We had a chef as well. Oh, we had a chef in Puerto Rico too. We, we've had chefs in all these places. Oh, mind you, let me just say this first and foremost. We traveled by private jet to each of these islands. Now, how do you do that with 50 girls? I have to put that out there. Well, I, girls, you damn sure do need your own airline, your damn own airplane. That that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Shout out to <clears> Zeus, okay. One thing about Zeus, Zeus budget is not motherfucking plan. Okay. They flew, we had like three, four private jets to go to each island. Like for each because you know, obviously the whole castle That different. is fucking crazy. Okay, so that they, they are not escaping the drug lord money allegations. Cause it's three, four jets. I mean because obviously they can't take a bus, but th they could damn sure take a boat. I mean, it ain't like, mm, let me not, because y'all not about to get up on, but uh, child, we all came off a boat once upon a time. So we should all be experienced, child. Go somewhere, if you offended. Get like three, four jets, and we did that for each island. We went jet to Dominican, I mean, we went jet to Barbados, jet to Puerto Rico, then jet to Dominican. <clears throat> we was flying Okay, that is crazy. Right. Even real housewives like, just fly regular okay. but get first class. So it was lit, all right? So shout out to Zeus Network for keeping me in my element. <laughs> you know, flying private because that's lit. So yeah, shout out to Zeus. You know what I'm saying? We definitely flew private. Y'all definitely did y'all pick one. I'm surprised she didn't say that this entire time. Was in the air, all right? so Big one. <clears throat> the clubs, I don't remember too much because I actually got drunk. <laughs> I know, guys, I'm sorry. I can't help it. Um, I was fucked up. <laughs> but I did have my sneakers on, okay? I did have my sneakers on majority of my a majority of the time. So you guys want to worry about me in any, you know, sticky or slippery situation. Right, I'll just say that. So you know, a lot of you like, they didn't have her fingers on. They didn't have her fingers on. So when somebody tried, is that what she trying to say? Is she trying to say that bitches got tried when they had heels on, spilled the tea, dime in the body? 
spill the tea. Yes, guys. So, um, yeah, that's really just an overview of the whole trip. You know, we went to those places. We had a lot of fun, um, private chefs, big mansions, like, it was beautiful. Come on, fool. <clears throat> no shade. That looked like shit. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Listen, baby, if you easily offended, take that shit somewhere else. Miss me with the eyes and the folk. Girl, y'all be judging um, hot dogs. Y'all be judging Chick-fil-A. Y'all will judge Chinese food if it's nasty. Y'all judge Mexican food if it's nasty. Miss me with the xenophobia comments. That shit look like shit. I'm sorry. If you from the Caribbean and you used to it, okay, well, let's work on presentation. And I can say that as a chef. Okay, as somebody who got to 150,000 followers on TikTok within three weeks. It's all about presentation, baby. Because whatever the hell that is, that first thing is, it might be tasty as hell, but it don't... It, it Like, what it says? Maybe it's me. Let me go ahead and up the quality on this video. <clears throat> because I'm pretty sure it might be, it, it might be tasting real good, real edible. Is it pepper steak? What is it? Child, because I remember a few a few years ago, y'all was trying to get all the influencers up out of here because they was going around trying. <sighs> they was going around trying different coaches' foods and whatnot, and y'all tried y'all tried to come with the think pieces and oh my god, you xenophobic, you racist, oh you disrespecting culture, but y'all had no problem doing it when it's every when it's everybody else though. That be the gag. That be the gag. It's like with certain coaches, we not allowed to say anything. But then y'all be quick as hell to disrespect a burrito or disrespect some Chinese food or disrespect a Chinese man. You go to a Chinese restaurant and the goddamn hood, they got bulletproof glasses. They scared to get out the fucking car to deliver the food. We could really have that conversation if you want to. Okay? So let's keep it cute. Let's keep it light. I ain't pay my phone bill. Now what the hell is that? Maybe it's just cooked a little hard. It it don't look appetizing though. It looks like shit with carrots on top. What the hell is that? Is that supposed to be pepper steak? I'm sure it's probably like good as hell. Not gonna hold you. I'm sure it's probably good as hell. Real edible. It's just from my eyes. What I'm seeing. I wanna look past it. Let's keep going. Come on, YouTube, get it together. Yes. <clears throat> what are we doing, YouTube? What are we doing? Okay, Sal, man. I don't know how all these portions are going to feed 27,000 girls. Like, what are we doing? Okay. YouTube is getting on my nerves. YouTube is really getting on my nerves. How is these small ass portions supposed to, supposed to feed twenty seven thousand girls? I need it to make sense. Yeah, all of this is literally just enough for meatball and Biggie. Like, please make it make sense. I would have said Rolly, but child, Rolly will eat the table. Listen. I love it. I love it. Oh wait, no, no, no. Is that a tray full of veggies? Or oh, somebody should have put Rolly name on that one. Oh, and a salad. Yeah, y'all should have just gave her that whole tray and said, here, this all you get until filming is over. I don't really like to put like. I sent you that video. Send you that video of them kitty plates. Girl, oh my God. They were starving this season. No wonder there was so many fights in every country. It's really so, not. It does fuck with you a little bit mentally. You know, it don't. Especially like having certain beats in the house and having to sleep with these people and like, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it can fuck with you. But me, I'm a real bitch. You feel me? I'm a solid bitch. I'm not no scary bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really 
that age. So it's going to take a lot more than, uh, you know what I'm saying, to get me out of motherfucking house. I ain't going nowhere, okay, bitch? <laughs> what you mean? So, yeah, it was... Who the hell is that? <laughs> now, who the hell is that? Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? I know she's not filming this in Granny House. Not you sitting here <sighs> filming a baddie's story time inside of your grandmother's house. Who the hell is that? So yeah, it was very challenging, but it was also very fun. It was very exciting. I loved it. Um, I had so much fun. I would definitely do it again, 100%. Uh, did I create any bonds with people? Yes, I did. I did. I'm not going to say any names because, like I said, I can't be too specific. I did create bonds with people. I oh, she's such a first-timer. I need to do an interview with her. I bet you I get all the tea. Bet you I get the tea. Okay, but <clears throat> yes guys I had a great time it was amazing shout out to Maddie shout out to Zeus Network for putting me on the show um I really appreciate it and yeah guys do me a favor subscribe like share and also comment okay I need y'all to comment comment um I'm gonna do another Q&A so comment some other questions okay yeah that's cute or whatever um let's go through the comments <clears throat> right after y'all go and like this video Fuck y'all thought. But the universe is free, double T to the Y, and it won't stop till I wake up and realize that I am the one, two, three. I am the bitch that these other niggas ain't. How you gonna escape when I am the key? That's why everywhere I go, they say following me like damn. Get back on track, look at who I am. Every day is number than this life span. Look in the mirror, tell myself again. Self love and happiness is all about a God's plan. I'm gonna be happy. Okay, uh, I say randomly shouting out. Oh, girl, <sighs> what's going on in the comments? Um, first time viewer, I don't know much about you. Heard your name because of now that CB is too low budget for me. So I'm glad to see you on baddies and you have a okay. Um. Girl, they ain't doing nothing but giving her her fucking flowers. I don't know for what. The bitch ain't said nothing. She ain't said nothing. Like, where's the tea? Where is the tea, girl? The tea, girl, wants to know your tea, girl. The fuck? What is going on? Okay, let's take it on over to Instagram and see if anything happened with her recently. Okay, so the internet is just slow today. I see. I am aggravated. The internet is moving dumb slow today. You can do it. Okay. Um... Hmm. I guess we just have wait, well fuck it. Oh, not me having to read. So Roland Ray said to Natalie, you are given. You are given. And you're the queen of baddies and the queen of bad girls club. You're the queen of it all. Going into the news. Why is Roland Ray interviewing Natalie? Why is Roland Ray interviewing Natalie? Like, is this like the Zeus room or some shit? Like, why is he interviewing her? He says, you're the queen of it all. Going into the next season. Are you excited? Will this be the best season so far? Natalie says... No, but we're going to say yes anyways, because that's what we do every season before a new season. We're going out the country. It's going to bring a different feel. When we took our vacation in Jamaica, it was a whole different vibe. And on Bad Girls Club, they did one season out of the country, and it was Bad Girls Mexico. I mean, okay. Well, each season, I take the time while we're casting to learn about them, their past, where they really come from, not just where they're living now. No, the fuck you don't, Natalie. Why are you lying? 
who their parents are, their brothers and sisters. It's important to know. Oh, so if all of this, now how did we get to the point that Jayla and Greg, I said I was going to speak on it again. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. How did you feel when Nicki Minaj mentioned you with all the drama where Ice Spice, Lotto, Nicki, and Meg, they're all channeling their inner baddies in some form. I let them all so I don't get involved in the messy-ish. That would be like getting involved in the baddie universe. <sighs> they all watch the show, but they don't get into it like that. But Nicki is a queen, and she's been somebody that I've looked up to. I mean, we all know that they all watch. Who do you miss? Miss or want to come on the show? Both. Natalie says maybe Judy. Judy was on Baddies ATL in the first season. Yeah, she left early, and I don't think she really got the whole Baddies experience. I mean, none of them did because Baddies ATL was like the rabbit, the bunny hop season child. But she says, yeah, because she's like a voodoo girl. Judy was a fan favorite. The fans loved her. She's iconic. She had a lot of one-liners. I got the voodoo for you, bitches. I think she just left too early. During Baddies ACL, we was just getting our feet were wet. Poop and the Zeus universe, but now we're popping, and I think she should come back. I mean, I think we need to have a whole Baddies ATL minus Sydney and Tanisha. We need to bring back the Baddies ATL cast, period. Leave out Tanisha. Leave out Sydney. Bring back Megan and have the Baddies ATL do a redo. Honestly. And Judy says that sweet. I definitely didn't get a fair shot because of Sydney. That's a fact. Despite our differences, I respect that she said I'm great TV. Girl, you let that. You let that. Let me not. 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 Um. But this is about DTB. Anything else on DTB? DTB. Yeah, you know me. You down with DTB. Yeah, you know me. Okay, it ain't shit else. So. Unfortunately, I thought we had some tea to get into, but not really. I guess now we know the D and uh, the T and D T B don't stand for T at all, at all, at all, child. D T B diamond the boring D T B diamond the basically not gonna give up no information, child. At all. So let me know what y'all thought of. This tab water down in the comment box below. As if y'all give a fuck. And definitely make sure that you stream my music as if you give a fuck. I like each and every one of y'all hosts allegedly in AC audio. Listen, I'm about to go out and pop and thought it with somebody's son. It's giving 70 degrees, ho. Where the pop is at? Bye. I'm bad. I'm pretty. I'm Not the motherfucking in outro. Universal bad bitch. Everybody language. Everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch. Everybody language. Everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch. Everybody language. Everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch. Everybody language. Everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Fuck it up. Nothing how they cutting up. Now these niggas swimming up. It wasn't when I'm coming up. Fuck it up. Nothing how they cutting up. Now these niggas swimming up. It wasn't when I'm coming up.